karate nerd Jesse Enkamp. You guys have been asking me to cover him for a while. This is him testing out his karate against Muay Thai in 2021. So that's Jesse Enkamp. Shout out him. I've never featured him before. So this is my first time. Ooh, look at that kick to his leg. If you kick too close to the knee sometimes, especially in Muay Thai, they might get really mad at you. So shout out Jesse for being really chill about that. So this roundhouse kick, Mawashi Gary, which is how they say it usually in karate, that connected. Jesse's got that kind of karateka type stance. And this is, oh, look at that. He switched stances. Not bad. So they're going very light, right? Oh, a kick into the face. Uh-oh. So, Jesse, of course, has a brother, Oliver, that we featured. It just never occurred to me to feature Jesse. I apologize, Jesse. It's not that I was ignoring you. It's just you have a big channel. So I was like, ah, if there's some person that doesn't need me to feature. But again, it's not about giving people publicity. You know, that's part of what I do. But it's also like just appreciation, right? And Jesse's doing a good thing. He's got that gongbu, as we say. He's got that um uh, neutral or front bow stance. <laughs> that's pretty funny. So... Oh, there we go. He's just, he just needs to blitz him with punches. There we go. Yeah. I was going to say, like, blitz him with some jabs, man. You probably can time it in a way where you can jab right through his guard. He's got, Jesse's got a little bit of that kind of, like, stiffness of a karateka, right? Nothing right or wrong about it. Just an observation. The Muay Thai guy, of course, has a reach disadvantage, I think, compared to Jesse. So, he's trying to find his groove, too. So, again, shout out our man Jesse. And <laughs> look at how animated he is. I think if him and I did a video together, he, we'd totally get along, man. I think we have the same kind of personality. Oh, Muay Thai guys finally thinking about jamming. Oh, that was a roundhouse kick. A little bit power into it. That was a pretty good attempt at a combo. Great. A lot of karatekas and taekwondoans do that. They sort of fake a low kick to a high kick roundhouse kick. Oh, he got him. He got him. He got him. That's going to anger the Muay Thai guy a little bit. So. Oh, see that? See that? Muay Thai guy's dialing it up. Oh, a little sweep. Oh, a little sweep. Oh, a common, common thing, right? Sometimes if you don't get your timing of your spin correctly, you'll just get push kicked. It's a common thing. In Krav Maga, there's even a move where if you don't get your spin kick correctly instead of push kicking you they'll kick you directly down there in your family jewels so be careful how you spin right usually it's good to set it up or if you're far enough use it to set up something else right but don't just spin kick that's the key either set up your spin kick or if you're far enough use the spin kick to get the torque to set up something simpler never thought about that huh guys you can sometimes use your spin kick if the distance is right to set up a more direct shot maybe one day i'll show you guys um, shout out Meg. I'm gonna spar her and show her. She's gonna beat me up. She's like, Jerry, you always try to try to spar me. So now they're just teaching each other. This is 2022. Jesse trained seven days as a Muay Thai person, and now he's gonna have a fight. Little leg kick action going on by the Muay Thai guy. So look at that. Jesse's changed his stance. Right, he's not a karateka anymore. He's even trying the push kick. Um, it's a little different, but in karate, it's called Maigari. So, look at that. Jesse playing with some angles. Not bad. He got sidekicked. Um, Yoko Gari, or Yoko Gary, as they say in karate. So, he got Yoko Gary. He's he's trying to adopt that kind of Muay Thai bouncy thing. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He got, he got tripped a little bit. Nice, good job. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't turn your back, Jesse. Ugh. It's so funny when your distance gets jammed, how the average person who's not used to clinch fighting or grappling kind of just panics, right? You see this in Jesse. So, oh, good roundhouse kick by Jesse. So, um, oh, that's kind of a double underhook or double overhook, sorry, double overhook, but he's the one that gets tossed. So... By the way, um, oh, ow, 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 I should definitely try to interview Jesse. That's what I was going to try to say. Try to interview Jesse. Ooh, that knee, I think, might have hit him down there. It's okay. Dude, good? Good on Jesse, man. He's not, you know, he's trying to play by Muay Thai rules. He's doing okay. I'm serious. He's doing okay considering the person he's going up against, right? So, 
Here we go. So this is. Here goes. Oh, nice. Jesse trying to sweep. Not bad. Almost got him. Almost got him. Oh, yeah, exactly. If you put his upper body into it, slash an arm, he would have gotten it. It's much harder to just use your lower body for that type of sweep, right? It's a, it's like a, it's a double torque type of sweep. I'll kind of have to show this one day, but, um, I don't know what that was, but keep sweeping, Jesse, keep sweeping. Ah, there you go. Karate, there we go. That was a good combo. Um, Oh, that was nice job, Jesse. So first, there was almost like a roundhouse. Did I say roundhouse? Sorry, a question mark kick. And then here, Jesse threw a pretty good turning back kick, I believe it's called. I'm never really good at explaining the names of the spin kicks or the turning kicks. But anyways, um, really good. I mean, it could just be editing, but let's give Jesse some credit. He's picked up a lot in his seven days. This was a year after the previous video, right? There we go, guys. So make sure to go follow Jesse and Camp if you are not familiar with this channel. I will put it in the end cards. Okay, guys, fight commentary breakdowns.